Hi everybody, welcome back to the Drunken Bull Ranch, I'm Reed. So today is the one bad day for the chickens. Let me show you. So here are the broilers. They're at the uh, size and age that they need to be processed. Uh, some of them are having a little bit of a hard time getting around to be honest, but most of them are good. Anyway, uh, ah, this camera's not. So today we are gonna process chickens. I don't know if we're gonna do them all today, but we're gonna do quite a few. Um, let me fix this. I know my video quality is terrible. Close that. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm not really gonna show you dispatching the chicken or anything like that. YouTube doesn't like it. But I have kind of a makeshift setup, okay? I'm gonna tell you this is not professional grade by any means, but this is kind of how it's gonna go, all right? So, now I made this little guy just out of a old planting bucket and blood will drain there after we dispatch the chicken. Then it will come over here. It will go into a pot of hot water, about 150 degrees. Uh, that's gonna vary depending on humidity, things like that. Then it will go here into the chicken plucker. And I put the chicken plucker here because the grass is dying right here and needs some water and I'm gonna be spraying a lot of water. So I figured that was a good spot for it. And the electrical plug is right over there. Now, then I will take it over here and I put the table here because it was a shady spot, but we're taking our dear sweet time getting started. So then I will put ice in this old cooler. That'll be our ice bath. We'll do our work here, put them on those trays and uh, all of the entrails and things like that can go right into that bucket. Uh, I like to keep lids on the buckets. Ah, goodness, I am doing a terrible job of recording today. But I like to keep lids on the buckets just so that the flies don't come around because it is actually kind of hot. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to, because it's just me, uh, my wife's gonna help. So I shouldn't say it's just me, it's the two of us. But uh, then we will take them on those trays and we will put them here in the refrigerator that apparently somebody keeps turning off. <laughs> there we go. Yes, all right, we're good. I might have to plug that in differently so my kids don't turn it off. Anyway, and then we'll just set them on the, set them shelves in here on the trays. Uh, yeah, and that thing is going to keep them cool until we are ready to bag them up. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing that is because that's a whole lot of uh, time and effort that's gonna go into this for me. So, yeah, I, uh, I just, ah, took those off, now I gotta put them back on. I just, uh, want to make sure that while it's, I, I don't want it to get too hot and I don't want the birds to go bad. So once I get them to the point where I'm ready to package them, I'm just going to go throw them in that fridge and then I will package them in the shade, hopefully, but we'll see. Anyway, I will uh, continue this video and show you a few things, but it's going to take a few minutes. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, everybody. So the water's at 150 degrees. I got the chicken here. Uh, basically what I do is I just take it, stick it in there. I just use a stick, submerge it all the way, pull it out, stick it back in there. They say you only gotta do this about 20, 30 seconds. It, it really depends on the temperature, the ambient temperature, the humidity, things like that. OK. 
Okay, and then if you pull it up, grab some feathers that come right out. Okay, and then I'll take it over here to the plucker. You turn this guy on. Grab your hose. your plucked chicken anyway pretty quick pretty easy these things are awesome and okay everyone so the chickens are done uh, I'm gonna say that we did 25 of the 50 it's gonna get bright uh, and they averaged around about five pounds a bird um, which is a little smaller than I would have liked but we'll deal with that. I'll take you in here into the shed and uh, show you what we got. Move that. Okay, so this is the freezer. In said freezer, we have chickens. You can see this one was 4.7, 5.10. Um, I like the little bags that we got. They were relatively inexpensive. Uh, I recommend them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the bags, we got them off of uh, Amazon, I believe. And like I said, they were relatively inexpensive. Probably worth getting. Shut that off. Um, like I said, it was just uh, my wife and I that were doing it. And uh, we took our dear sweet time because she's never done it before. And honestly, I never used the chicken plucker before. Um, the chicken plucker worked really well. Uh, we had a couple of birds that it kind of tore up a little bit and some that it left some feathers on. Uh, but but yeah, for, for the all intents and purposes, it worked really well. Anyway, um, like I said, we, uh, we averaged about five pounds a bird uh, assuming that we do that on the other 25 which we'll probably do next weekend um, the way I figure it is that let's see five pounds a bird if if we sold them at five bucks a pound that'd be twelve hundred and fifty dollars uh, or if we had to buy it, I guess, at five bucks a pound, it would be 1250 bucks, roughly. Uh, the birds were 150 We raised them for, well, let's see, we're at eight weeks. be nine weeks on the others next weekend. Um, so at $3 a bird, that's 150 About $300 in feed, that's 450 so we basically saved 800 bucks. Not counting our time to process, things like that. I mean, yeah, there there would be an expense there. Um, but all in all, we uh, I, I, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. They look good. Hopefully they eat good. <laughs> but these, these were for our own personal use. And uh, yeah, so honestly, like I said, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, We'll, we'll we'll do the next next weekend and uh, keep moving these around out here until uh, till then. But there you go. So as always, support your local farmers. Have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go drink a cold Dr Pepper. Talk to you later. Bye.